Hey YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back. Um, in this guide, I want to help you guys get the highest frames and lowest latency out of Delta Force with your PC. I decided to do an updated video on this game um, as a few things have changed uh, with this game. So let's get started with it. Benchmarks are tested with these specs. Do not expect identical results on your hardware. That said, you can expect similar scaling with my recommendations. By default on my rig, I put everything in extreme. I have turned off DLSS just to make this comparison fair. In 4K, I've gone from 239 FPS to 435 FPS, from 16 milliseconds input lag down to 5, which is really nice. Now, just a heads up with this game, guys. 0.1% lows are really bad in this game, and it's quite hard to benchmark this game. So to maybe take the 0.1% lows with a grain of salt. In 1440p, we've gone from 416 FPS to 716 FPS, input lag of 10 milliseconds all the way down to 4. Really nice there. 1080p. 500 FPS to 718 FPS, 8 milliseconds input lag, all the way down to 4. That's quite nice. In the config, I've turned a few things down a little bit lower than you can in game. I've also added these command lines to remove anti aliasing from the game entirely, which is quite nice. I've also added these commands just to enforce that mouse acceleration is turned off. To easily apply the config, we'll go to the start menu and we'll type scripts. We'll click on this one here. We'll scroll down and we'll make sure this is turned on so Windows can actually run PowerShell scripts. After you've done that, I want you to search PowerShell. Right click PowerShell and run as administrator and we'll keep this window open here. Make sure it says administrator Windows PowerShell. Go to my GitHub. Just Google Freethe GitHub. Should be the first thing that comes up. Click GitHub game configs. Scroll down. The IWR, you can click here to copy the code. You can click on the PowerShell Windows command and then you can just right click which will paste the code and then press enter. It should come up with a really nice menu here. We want to apply the Delta Force config, so we'll press, we'll type 4 and then press enter. And then it'll say run game once to generate config location. So if you've already booted the game, you're good. If you've just downloaded the game, my advice is boot the game first and then exit the game. So we'll press enter here. Get everything, everything ready. Now we've got some um, instructions here. I've got a location for the Steam config location and the Greener config location. I'm going to show you guys the Greener config location. I have that installed at the moment. So we're going to need to find our Delta Force install location. Mine is in actually G, Delta Force, Delta Force, saved, config, Windows client. You need to find that folder. And just following the instructions for Steam, it's the same thing. All right. So just make sure Windows client is selected and then press select folder. It's going to go ahead and apply the config. So we're good to go. Now, if you're on a NVIDIA card, I'd really recommend you trying DirectX 11. I get quite more frames, especially since this new update with it. If you're on an AMD card, you might want to try this option and then not try this option because sometimes AMD cards just run better with DirectX 12. So if you've got an AMD card, you might need to try with and without this. If you're on an NVIDIA card, just try this. If you're on the Greener Launcher, you just need to come into the options of the Greener Launcher and Launch Command, type in DX11 there. And for the Steam version, uh, it's sort of the same thing. Right click, go Properties, go General, type DX11 right here. Just type it exactly like that and you'll be fine. If you're not using the DirectX 11 launch command, you will have the shaders reload. I've deleted the config line to allow the shaders to reload. Not a bad idea if you do want to use DirectX 12. Using DirectX 11, you won't see the shaders load at all. Settings should all be done for you. Good to go. A couple of noteworthy things that you guys might need to do. You probably need to select your display, card. You can run full screen or borderless windowed. If you're using DirectX 11, do not run borderless windowed mode on Windows 10, but on Windows 11 you can. Um, set your refresh rate, all that good stuff. The game is too over sharpened for you. You can turn sharpness down as anti-aliasing is going to be turned off. So it would already be fairly sharp. Everything's applied for you. And like I said before, a couple of extra things done in the config. This config's done to maximize frame rate. If you've got a good card and you don't mind turning up some settings, my recommendation would be turn up texture filtering to the max and turn up textures to the max. Make the game look a little bit better. Now after this, if you're still GPU limited and you feel like your CPU can spit out some more frames, we have a couple of options. We can lower rendering scale, but the game will look pretty horrible. So I would recommend trying some of these super resolution modes. Um, like AMD FSR, DLSS, try the performance preset. Now you won't have options to frame generation or all of the super resolution modes in here if you're forcing DirectX 11. That's pretty much it. If the config didn't help you, or going a lower resolution with rendering scale or DLSS, or just simply running a lower resolution doesn't help you, you're more than likely CPU limited. You need to look at upgrading CPU. Now I want to talk about a few things that I've tested and discovered with this game. So let's get back to some benchmarks. 
So reflex is a huge one for latency. They uh, used to be completely bugged and it wouldn't help. Now it is, if you've got a NVIDIA card, you want to have it um, on enhanced. Um, usually when you're GP bound, you just want to have like on, which technically would be reflex low latency um, and enhanced would be on plus boost. But for some reason it's bugged. Whereas, uh, so reflex off, we got like roughly as an example, like 9.2 millisecond latency here. If we have just low latency, it's not really affecting the, the latency at all. Uh, so I think it's bugged. So if, if you, I really recommend, and the config applies, Reflex Enhanced. Um, I don't know really what, what's going on there, um, but at least they've patched it and now it's worth using, but just make sure you're using Reflex Enhanced. It's a really nice reduction in latency there. But like I mentioned before, I got a nice FPS boost on DirectX 11. Um, so, you know, going from like 344 FPS on 4K to 441, and even the 1% lows got boosted here. It's quite nice. But like I said, if you're on an AMD card, this might not work well for you. So it's the one thing that you're going to probably have to benchmark for yourself. But this is different FPS cap methods. Uh, the best one I came across was in-game first and then the MSI Afterburners Reflex. Um, drive is not too bad, but for some reason it ruined the 0.1% lows, but that could be like a benchmark bug. Like I said, this game was quite hard to benchmark. Other noteworthy things I benchmarked, I benchmarked Steam Launcher versus Green Launcher. No difference there. I mean, if you're using the Steam Launcher, just turn off overlays and all the other crap that comes with Steam. Our frame gen on versus off was completely bugged for me. Similar to Call of Duty, at least with my system. It might help for you, but I wouldn't recommend frame gen at all for a FPS title. It will make your latency go a lot higher. So it's not really worth talking about, but when I tested it, it actually wasn't working or doing anything. Um, rebar on versus off. This is an interesting one. On an NVIDIA system in the driver, in the driver settings, where you can see through NVIDIA Inspector, rebar is actually disabled by default, as you can see here. Now, I tried enforcing it to enabled and it made things worse. So better off just leaving it. It's okay if you have it on in BIOS, but just leave NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Don't enforce it on. I tested SMT hyperthreading on versus off. Um, it actually made the game run a lot worse. So please leave that on. Um, and I tested core thread like, you know, disabled uh, versus default that made things a lot worse as well um, and I also tested high priority versus normal priority the game is actually default by high and there was no difference there so don't bother with that here's a photo of the default priority for Delta Force it was actually default in high it's fine just leave it at high leave it as it is that's it for my updated config for this video hope it helped you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one cheers Optimizing game settings in config files can only do so much. Please consider going through this video and GitHub guide to cover the basic Windows and BIOS optimizations. If hardware is limiting your performance, please check out my build guide for upgrades and PC build suggestions. Make sure to update the latest graphics drivers or at least the recommended version from the game developer or game mentioned in driver patch notes from the driver developer. The NVIDIA app with certain settings turned on will cause frame rate loss. Turn off optimized games and creative applications. Turn off automatically optimized newly added games and apps avoid using game filters and statistics as far as amd drivers i've not seen any tests be cautious game launchers should have logging game overlay hardware acceleration cloud sync turned off please do this for web browsers spotify discord or anything else open while you play your games any monitoring or rgb program causes frame rate loss even closed this includes asus armory crate msi gigabyte asrock driver utilities nzxt cam corsair iq leon lee l connect and etc uninstall if possible services and drivers for these apps still run even if the apps are closed gpu z hardware info msi afterburner and etc can cause frame rate problems when logging gpu power close these out when gaming or turn off gpu power logging if you'd like your bios game pc windows fresh tuned and optimized check out my pc service all links can be found in the description below just check link tree